Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is syringe of million. Uh, but before starting I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link to visit the website and there is a uh, red subscribe button as well so don't forget to subscribe this channel. Now I come to the topic what is saying your media you know? you know it's a rare disorder and uh, in this uh, the cyst forms within your spinal cord and uh, uh, this cyst is fluid filled cyst you know or, uh, or shrinks you know and it expands and uh, lengthens over the time you know and uh, it compresses and damages the part of your spinal cord from its center outward. You know. And the damage to the spinal cord is usually caused by the uh, syrinx, you know. It can lead to the symptoms such as uh, uh, progressive pain, stiffness, and uh, weakness in the back, in the shoulders, in the arms, and in the legs, you know. And uh, the people with the disorder might lose the ability to feel cold or maybe pain normally, you know. And some people with this disorder won't have any symptoms or won't need any treatment, you know. And uh, for others, uh, it will cause symptoms and complications that worsen as it expands, you know. And the treatment aim is to relieve the pressure on the spinal cord and the treatment uh, uh, your doctor suggest for you will depend on the cause of the syndrome you know and the follow-up uh, care after the surgery is important because uh, it can reoccur you know and the, the most uh, cases are caused by the malformation of the brain known as like uh, a cherry type 1 malformation or cm1 you know and uh, it occurs where the brain joins the spinal cord and uh, uh, in the main formation, the brain stem lies lower than normal you know? and uh, located at the back of the brain stem is the part known as cerebrum. You know? And uh, mostly with this condition, the bases of the lobes of the cerebrum and the cerebral tonsils uh, protrude from uh, the skull and into the spinal canal. You know? and, uh, it can develop as a complication of like trauma or maybe hemorrhage or tumor or maybe uh, other conditions you know and uh, maybe maybe arachnoiditis you know and uh, arachnoiditis is a progressive inflammatory disorder that affects the arachnoid which is the membrane that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord you know and a primary arachnoid cyst is present at birth uh, but it may take years uh, for the symptoms to appear, you know. So it's a progressive disease, you know. And the symptoms uh, of this disorder are caused by the pressure uh, the acerrowing sports on the spinal cord and damage that uh, follows, you know. And they may include like a, a progressive weakness and pain in the back, in the shoulders, in the arms or in the legs, you know. and uh, uh, another one is like inability to uh, feel uh, hot or cold or maybe a loss of pain sensations in the limbs you know and uh, difficulty in walking or maybe bowel or bladder incontinence you know and uh, the facial pain and the facial numbness is another uh, symptom and the curvature of the spine or the uh, scoliosis you know so is another complication of the symptom you know and uh, you should visit your doctor if you have any of these symptoms for further evaluation and it's important to watch these symptoms uh, if they are getting worse you know and uh, it may take months or maybe years sometimes you know, after your injury for this to happen you know to develop you know. and uh, your doctor if your doctor suspects that you have syndromalia uh, uh, you know um, he may refer you to the neurologist and to diagnose the condition your neurologist will first take your complete medical history he will ask you the questions about the symptoms you know and then he will perform the physical examination like he will uh, 
check your reflex sales or uh, uh, view, uh, view inspection of the area, you know, to see any kind of inflammation, or any other sign of any uh, other, to get any clue, you know. And uh, uh, you should be prepared to tell your doctor about your symptoms and how long you uh, had them, you know. And if your neurologist thinks that you may have syringe uh, myelia, you know, he will order an MRI to look for any abnormalities inside the spinal cord, you know. And uh, MRI is the most reliable diagnostic tool for to, to, to diagnose this disorder, you know. And it's considered the good standard. Uh, or, uh, I mean, it's a very useful tool, you know. It's gold standard tool, you know, for diagnosing the condition. Once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options? You know, the treatment depends on uh, the progression of the disorder and whether you are experiencing the symptoms that uh, disrupt your life, you know. And uh, if you have no symptoms or the mild symptoms, you may not need any treatment. And your neurologist will monitor the progression of the disorder, you know. And uh, if your symptoms are negatively impacted on your life, your neurologist will recommend the medications and maybe surgery sometimes, you know. But again, it depends on the severity of the condition. And the medications such as uh, 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 like uh, Neurontin, you know, it may help to decrease the like the painful sensation of the shoulders and the arms that frequently occur during this condition. You know. And the goal of surgery is to correct the underlying cause of the ceramics and the relieve the pressure on the spinal cord. You know. And this type of surgery will depend on the cause of your condition. You know. And if you have the CM1, you know, your surgeon may suggest surgery to expand the base of your skull and uh, the covering of your brain, you know. And this will take pressure off your spinal cord and your brain and uh, that will improve the symptoms. You know? uh, and if you have any tumor or any bony growth uh, that is causing this condition, uh, it will be removed and uh, it will resolve the uh, issue you know, in most of the cases. And in some cases, uh, your surgeon will use the small and flexible tube which is known as a shunt, you know. And the purpose is to drain and uh, the like uh, serowings, you know, and they will place the shunt in the uh, uh, serowings to drain the excess fluid. And sometimes the surgeon can completely drain the serowings during the surgery, you know. And uh, if that's not possible, the shunt will remain in place after the surgery. And after surgery, you may be prescribed with the antibiotics to prevent any kind of uh, infections, you know. And uh, uh, you may also recommend uh, be recommended. Uh, physical therapy which can help you to strengthen your muscles in the limbs that have the progressive weakness you know so this way uh, you will be treated and it, it, these are very helpful treatments you know and the outlook uh, uh, of the surgery or the medication uh, uh, varies you know it depends on the type of the surgery and the uh, severity of the condition you know uh, but damage to the spinal cord may be severe enough to cause the permanent problems, you know, or the issues with the, uh, like, neurological issues, you know. And some people may struggle with walking or maybe may have the permanent weakness in the limbs, you know. And uh, the hope is that uh, after the, it has been treated, you know, these conditions will slowly disappear with the physical therapy and the time, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.